Hello everyone, it's Vinny SOB, sitting back playing some Company of Heroes and having a line in Google Summer Shandy. I thought I'd go over the uh, Company of Heroes Blitzkrieg mod, Airborne Doctrine, uh, do a quick tutorial here. If you're not familiar with the Blitzkrieg mod, it's a total conversion mod. Uh, it's polished, it's complete, it's uh, good to go. It's like regular blitz or regular co uh, company heroes on uh, steroids, I guess. Uh, here I've beaten the heck out of the computer, I got everything set up so we can go ahead and take a look at all the different units. Uh, but Blitzkrieg, you'll notice you can zoom out much further than you can in vanilla company heroes. Uh, all your units can sprint, which is uh, pretty damn good, something you didn't have in, in vanilla. So uh, that's a great addition. Um, you also have a much higher damage model. Uh, just a number of things that have made this just uh, much more fun to play than the uh, normal vanilla Company of Heroes. But today we're looking at the Airborne Doctrine. And uh, as you can see, there are many more options here than on the standard Company of Heroes. Uh, with Airborne Doctrine, you'll notice it's you have a couple of different tracks here. Uh, the track here on the far right is for all of your planes. You have your strafing runs, your recon, your bombing run, and then you have your uh, patrol, which is basically like the, if you've ever played the vanilla with the Luftwaffe, they'll fly around and bomb everything. Then you have a track that is to unlock all of your uh, airborne pieces, so you have your 101st, which are the which you had in vanilla, which have the uh, recoilless rifles. You have the 82nd, which are uh, great. They have uh, but two bazookas, and they also have um, Thompson, so they're great at, at fighting troops as well as vehicles. Then you also have a uh, the headquarters squad, which is an elite squad. They have a sniper, they have Thompsons, they have uh, a bazooka. Uh, they're, they're outstanding and they give bonuses to the other troops around them and then you have uh, you know veteranacy training uh, which of course just assists with with your uh, airborne pieces you do have two vehicles you can unlock uh, they're standard vehicles and, and the airborne doctrine is doesn't have very many vehicles uh, so you do have your 76er upgrade and you have your uh, M10 Wolverine tank destroyer now you do have these two upgrades here, the white phosphorus grenades and the um, mortar barrage support, and these are something that can be used by some of the airborne troops, but are mainly used by your uh, 101st recon troop, and we'll take a look at that in a second. And these last four, which are supply drops, which are great, you can drop it, it'll drop uh, weapons like mortars and uh, machine guns and also give you I believe it's a hundred fuel and a, a hundred ammo when you pick up the box so it's it's pretty good uh, you have the 76 millimeter tank gun drop you have 101st airborne uh, HMG squad and you have 101st airborne 80 millimeter mortar support so I've unlocked everything here these are going to be mainly these six for the 101st uh, Airborne Ranger Observation Squad right here. So I've dropped one here. You can see the little emblem. There's two of them. They do cloak when they're in cover. Another thing about Blitzkrieg, they ha have a camouflage ability for many of the units and we can look at that in a second. But here these guys are in cover so they are camouflaged and you can see they're uh, kind of see-through. But because we've unlocked all those powers or those um, these abilities will click on these guys and you can see they have the sprint of course they they have the 60 millimeter mortar barrage which we unlocked uh, right here and then they have another panel here for special abilities you click that and here's the supply drop which we'll do one now uh, you've probably seen a lot of videos of people playing with the airborne and they're using the supply drop to get their munitions up now I obviously don't need it right at this moment but uh, just give you an idea of what it does here you can grab these guys they drop two boxes and you'll see the little hand come up 
and you see it's 100 munitions and this should be 100 fuel or 40 fuel I, I'm sorry so they also left behind a 60 millimeter mortar and a um, uh, 30 caliber machine gun and you can use this power it does have a cooldown you see it's 143 seconds but you can use it and keep using it and keep getting um, supplies which helps and you can get these weapons as I said another thing they can do is we unlocked the machine gun team and the mortar and we've also unlocked the uh, 76 millimeter tank gun so you can click on these guys and you'll see here they have the 76 millimeter tank gun we can drop it and there is a cooldown while you're dropping one thing you know the other things will have to wait so you see it come down and one thing that's great about the airborne troops is the fact that they can reinforce from anywhere so if I you see how there's a, the little airborne uh, emblem above the tank gun if this does get damaged or they lose some guys off of the off of the uh, anti-tank gun you can just reinforce them on the spot which is great and here's a standard tank gun and you see it doesn't have the little airborne flag so this has to be reinforced next to a uh, a forward headquarters or, or next to a you know a half track or something that allows you to reinforce and you can see here they do have the camouflage ability so when you click this and turn it on you'll see the little red you know Ghostbusters you know symbol there and these guys will eventually uh, become see-through as long as they're not in the middle of combat and when they are camouflaged they can do uh, there they go they go see-through now they can do extra damage sometimes they can get a couple of shots off before the enemy even knows where they are uh, so it is good to go and you can now also if you notice here uh, you can upgrade these with high velocity armor piercing and explosive rounds which has to be done uh, either at one of the at the headquarters area or you know near one of the buildings that allows it which in this case would be the motor pool or you can have one of these uh, ammunition trucks now just build one for the hell of it and we'll get it out there and then you'd be able to do it now when you drop the airborne version it already comes with these upgrades purchased so you can just use them at will it does cost money or you know munitions to use them but uh, they're already on the on the actual piece so that's good to go all right so we drop that you can also drop mortar teams which is great so what you can do is you can drop these guys anywhere you can drop them into the fog of war you don't have to have to be able to see where you're dropping them so you can drop these guys they'll camouflage and then you can drop pieces around them uh, which is which is outstanding and again because this is an airborne piece it can reinforce anywhere on the map all right let that cool down go these guys also can call in artillery and I'll give you an idea of how far so they don't have a huge range but again they can camouflage so you can sneak them into anywhere where they're in cover like right here they'd be in cover you can get them now they don't have the you know evasive action ability like snipers do uh, so they, they can't go completely invisible while they're moving uh, but if, if you could get them up to this point for example you'd be able to drop that artillery uh, you know on, on the base all right well, I'll just drop the artillery what the hell just to give you an idea of what it looks like let's drop some right here it does take a while to actually shoot the art the uh, mortar barrage you, you, when you drop it if there's something there and you think it might move uh, there's a good chance it won't hit it because it really does take a while to drop but if there's some stationary t targets there or someone's uh, has a defense built up you know it, it is pretty devastating and uh, you know, it works well to, to clean out troops and, and again because of the damage model if any one of these would hit a group of soldiers or even hit a slit trench it might kill everyone inside the uh, you know kill all the soldiers all right we've done that we also have a machine gun team which is great you can drop these guys uh, you know behind enemy lines as long as you have this 
this this troop out there, this recon troop. And again, what makes them special is the fact that they can reinforce anywhere. So, and you can also see they have the camouflage ambush ability, which you know many of these units do have, and you can face them you know, even once they're set up. But if they lose uh, one of the troop, one of the group here, uh, they will be able to reinforce anywhere. You will notice there is no sprint. Mortar teams, machine gun teams, and uh, tank guns, they can't sprint. But uh, any other unit can. Engineers, uh, any of them. All right. And then we have this 75 millimeter pack howitzer. We can drop that. And uh, you can also get this with the Infantry Doctrine. Uh, you can build it out of uh, forward headquarters. And basically what it is is just a little mini howitzer. It's really, it, it works against buildings and emplacements. Uh, and it also works against troops. It really doesn't do too much against vehicles. Um, you know, but it does have decent range. Let me see here. Yeah, it's got pretty decent range. You can see on the mini map. I mean, that's pretty far. All the way out to here, it can shoot. That's pretty far. So, you know, there we have it. It'll fire, and we'll just take a look and see where it's landing here. Give you an idea. So they're, they're pretty devastating. I mean, it's, it's uh, not as good as a 105 howitzer, but it definitely does some damage, and it will take down buildings and, and emplacements, things of that nature. All right, so that's pretty much everything you can do with this individual piece. But you can see how important it is, and much of the uh, airborne doctrine you can really focus on using these uh, these these recon troops and just dropping pieces around them and using them for defense and for attack so they're a really uh, unique piece something that was completely different than vanilla now of course you do have your standard uh, your 101st airborne which was the same as what you had in the vanilla uh, the only real difference is here well, again you could drop them anywhere even in the fog of war you do have to actually pick up your supplies. So when these guys drop, I'll show you here, you have to walk up and manually pick up the box. And then it'll say equipment obtained, but really it's not obtained. You have to actually pick it up off the ground. Now they have the recoilless rifle. Uh, you see also they can upgrade with uh, these light machine guns and also uh, bars and you can get Thompson's if you're near a headquarters squad so we'll drop them they're really expensive they're 680 uh, but they're they give bonuses to the troops around them and they allow these guys to get as I said Thompson's which are are super deadly uh, up close and you see when when I was dropping these guys this little bar came up underneath and because they do have the veteran veteran upgrade, they do have the little star already. So uh, you know they're going to be pretty deadly. So here we go. We have the the headquarters squad. We'll get close. And if you look now, Thompson machine gun is an option for them, which is great. Now again, these headquarters squad, you can see they. They come with the bazooka already. They do have a guy with a sniper rifle. They do it, which is right here. They have some Thompsons. Um, I don't know if all of them have Thompsons. Let's take a look. Yeah, so they all have Thompsons uh, and the sniper rifle and the bazooka. So they're really good. Another great thing about uh, Blitzkrieg is slit trenches, which the British had after I believe it was opposing fronts. I don't remember which which um, company heroes version came out with the British but only the British could dig these slit trenches now everybody can uh, every faction um, and a lot of the units can of course your engineers can uh, but also these these troops can as well which is great especially when you get uh, you know headquarters squad or this 82nd airborne in these in these trenches I mean they're 
very deadly. They can hold off tanks. Uh, they're just uh, outstanding. So the slit trenches, I'm a huge fan. I put them all over the place. I think they're really one of the coolest, uh, the coolest features of the Blitzkrieg mod. All right. So these are the different pieces you can drop. One thing, uh, if you sometimes you got to zoom in because it's hard to actually grab the two bazookas. There you go. So with with this particular doctrine, you don't get a lot of options out of your standard buildings. You have just the standard production levels uh, for your for your supply yard. Nothing special out of your headquarters. You do get a 50 caliber Jeep, which is uh, you know better than the standard Jeep, only because it can actually hurt lightly armored targets. Um, but it it has the same same features, and it's a little bit better armored. Still goes down pretty easy. I mean, it's a Jeep, uh, but you can get this also with the infantry uh, doctrine. But that's uh, you know pretty minor thing. And if you have armor doctrine, you get say a recoilless rifle Jeep. So, uh, you know, Jeep's a minor, a minor upgrade overall. Now, before you used to build troops out of both your weapons support center and your barracks. Now all your troops come out of your barracks. So your weapons support center is basically support abilities. You no longer have to buy grenades. If it's a troop that would normally have grenades, they have them. Uh, but all the doctrines for the U.S. have these same four at the top, your smoke, your, uh, that anti-tank grenades, demolitions, and sticky bombs. But depending on the doctrine, your second row here will have specific things for this doctrine. In this one, you have armor piercing rounds for your uh, fighter uh, support, and you can also get weapon supply, which just lowers the cost of your weapons. Alright, now when we look at the barracks itself, you have all of your troops out of this building now. These two spots, different doctrines will have different troops here, but again, because you're dropping so many troops out of your uh, as abilities, they didn't add anything here. Um, something specific to Blitzkrieg mod is this recon troop, uh, which is great. It functions similar to a sniper. You, I already have two of them built. That's why they're grayed out. Same thing with the sniper. I have two built, um, or I'm actually building my second one now. Let me see. I know I already had two built. Okay, but uh, but at any rate, they're grayed out just because I have met the pop cap and they let you have two of each. But the recon troop, which I do have some out here, uh, let's just find one. There he is, little binoculars. So this guy, nope, that's not him. There he is, binoculars. So you can see he has binoculars, which will give him a very large field of vision. Um, even better than the uh, lieutenants uh, do in for the British. Um, and he can cloak, so when he's in cover, he clo he camouflages. Or you can hit the evasive action, and you can't see him unless they have an, a, you know, a recon vehicle, like a jeep or something like that. And you can sneak him right on in. They won't be able to see him at all while he's moving. And then you can just put him back into cover and open up his binoculars, and he can sprint as well. He can also capture points. But, uh, you know, in this game, vision is extremely important. Uh, and this guy will give you lots of it. Like right now, you, you can pretty much see everything, so it's really not going to be too easy to show you how functional he is. But bring him out. He's in cover. Oh, there we go. Put that on, and you can see off the map. But at any rate, that's really the only uh, unique troop, and also the anti-tank squad. I know you had rangers in the original, um, but the anti-tank squad is similar to like the Panzer Elites in the original. They just had the, the four-man tank squad, uh, just for taking out tanks. They do have those for all the factions now. Have that, you know, tank commanders, all standard stuff. Um, your motor pool. These are all standard items for Blitzkrieg. There are other things that are not shown here because this doctrine does not allow for them. 
However, with this doctrine, you do get a Jeep with a 12-fold rocket launcher. So every faction and every doctrine in Blitzkrieg does have artillery, uh, pretty much extensive artillery. This is not really an artillery-based uh, doctrine, but you, you know, again, you, you can drop you know mortar attacks from from this recon troop here. Um, you get you do have this that pack that I showed you uh, that I was shooting with that I dropped from this guy here, this 75 millimeter pack. You know, and again, that's still a, a form of artillery. And this jeep, you can build two of them. I'll just shoot this somewhere else because there we go rocket barrage just fire it right here you can see it's a very widespread so it's not very accurate it can damage tank treads uh, you know which is great you can see it firing here you don't want to fire this in close near your own guys because there's a good chance you'll kill your own guys and because it doesn't have a high firing arc like other artilleries, if I were to fire it from back here, it would actually be hitting these buildings. And if I had guys in them like I do right here, you know, it would actually kill them. So, I mean, it is effective, especially on open maps. You see a bunch of troops, you know, dug in. You can just start hitting them with that. It's cheap. You can build with the two of them. So you can, and you can see how fast the cooldown timer is going. Um, now, one thing uh, here with with this doctrine they're very light on vehicles on heavy vehicles you have your standard crocodile you have the 76er uh, which we did unlock in the tech tree here um, it's you know in the original I think you had the regular M4 like you do here but then you could buy the upgrade or something and make it into a 76er I mean here they have two separate tanks uh, because they really were two separate tanks, different engines, and you can see these great detailed descriptions that Blitzkrieg does about armament, their cannon, their, you know, their, their armor, what they're good against, their engine. I mean, it's really cool. Top speeds. Now you also have uh, repair. You'll have some repair engineers that come out if you bring them back to the base. They'll repair them. And if you look here, there's an additional production option similar to the troop I was clicking on. There was like a you could like basically go to another page of abilities and here you have the two standard tank destroyers the M10 and the Hellcat so you don't have a whole lot in the way of armor you're really going to be mostly relying on your your fighters uh, your, which of course you need munitions for this so if you're on a map that doesn't have a lot of munitions this doctrine can be pretty painful to use especially against armor because uh, they don't have you know any kind of real heavy armor the tank destroyers are, are, are good but you know if they get hit even once most of them go down against German armor so uh, they do have cloaking abilities and in fact I'll make one here just to show you make one of each now I just called in bomber support that will take out tanks uh, it is pretty good um, you do have just like the Luftwaffe you can drop a, an area here now nothing's gonna come because there's no enemy vehicles but you can see on the mini map the area that it covers and they'll come in and they'll strafe with bullets they'll drop bombs you know it's uh, I guess I can show you that to finish it off when we're when I'm done with everything and use it on their base although they probably won't drop bombs because there's no vehicles and you do have a strafing run which I will use here now Let's not let me get that close. And we'll just have some planes coming in. Because we have the draw distance out, you can actually see the planes fly over, which is pretty cool, too. Yeah, it did, it did barely nothing. I, uh, because they were at the very end of the strafing run. So it's kind of hit or miss with the strafing run. Uh, sometimes it'll just tear them to shreds. Other times it will do what it did there and not really hit anything. So here we have the M10. You can see you can buy different types of ammo for them. They will have just standard armor piercing rounds to start, but you can get these high velocity, which do do more damage. And if you're fighting tigers and things like that, they're good to have. You can also get the explosive rounds, which are great against emplacements and guys. 
uh, you know, taking down houses, things like that, and especially against troops. And on this map, boy, I really tore through uh, those munitions pretty quickly. So let's just do this. Grab a. I know I have some engineers here somewhere. Oh, there's one right there. Tons of manpower and no munitions. But, uh, so at any rate, you can buy these different different upgrades. So now you can, you know, put the uh, fire an AG shell. There's nothing to fire at right now, so it's not going to do it. Um, and you do have the armor piercing. Now these do have hit and run tactics. If you're camouflaged, this does have flanking speed, which allows you to outmaneuver German tanks, especially tank destroyers that have to turn the whole tank and they have no turret. You you can get around them and actually just shoot them in the ass, and, and uh, it's pretty cool. If you micromanage it right, you can really use these things pretty well. But the way they're used best is if you put them into cover. So let's just bring this guy here. I mean, I know, you know I'm not going to upgrade this guy, but you can see now ambush lockdown. You click that, and he's going to go invisible. So he'll get these major bonus on shooting an incoming tank. He'll do a ton of damage, and sometimes they can get multiple shots off uh, before the enemy even knows they're there, and they can take out you know extremely powerful tanks. And... Uh, Again, the Wolverine has this hit and run tactic. It can actually fire two shots before uh, you know the the enemy even knows they're there. And they can do the same thing with the ambush lockdown as long as they're in cover. So now this won't show cover because you can see on the cursor it's not showing cover. So it's this is a user map. It's just not coming up as cover. Put them here. It will work. And this kind of stuff with this cover and you know all these tank destroyers I and mean, these are universal. Armor Doctrine has extra tank destroyers and some extremely deadly ones like the Jackson. Um, you know it, it's uh, good to go. The standard tanks do not have ambush lockdown. They're uh, not made for these hit and run style tactics. So he'll go invisible too. All right, so we've looked at all of these different units here. We've kind of looked at all the different, uh, you know, abilities with Airborne. Let's look at one other thing you can do with Airborne that's pretty unique. And we'll look at Engineers for this. Now you can see here, there's a, a Quad 50 Cal HMG. This is basically this emplacement right here. Now it's been beat up, but uh, this these are great. They're anti-air. You can put them up. They'll take out planes. They're great against light armor and troops. Uh, so, you know, they're a really good piece and they're something that's specific to um, to the Airborne Doctrine. So it, they, they are really uh, good to go. Great defensive pieces and especially if somebody else is bringing an air on you, you can really, you know, cut them down and, and save your, your troops if they're using that sort of attack. Now the other thing they can do that is unique to Airborne is they have these little mini quad trailer emplacements. These are cheaper. You could build them behind cover. So like say you have like this wall here. I don't want to build it that close because well I'm too close to their base. It's not my territory. They won't let me. But let's say you had a little wall built up with sandbags or something. You can actually drop this and build it. And it's the same thing that's inside this, uh, you know, in, in, in camp, in, uh, you know, fortified area. It just without all the fortification, so it is cheaper. You can get it down quick. And again, if there's something that you can build behind, like a fence or something, to give it some kind of cover, it does help. But even uh, if you don't, you can always build sandbags around it. So, uh, you know, it, you can make it. You know, extremely effective, and it is very good. Uh, it will, it will just chew troops down. So let's see. Then you can just, you know, make some sandbags here. 
you know, and whatever. Make your little make your little thing there, and they'll build around it. So those are the two, uh, you know, kind of unique things that you can build with the uh, engineers for these guys. Now this particular base, another thing you can do, if you take over, uh, uh, and we'll just do this here. So you know how you could take over buildings and make them into uh, into forward bases, which you know I highly recommend. I think it's great to be able to, to have forward troops, even though with airborne you're gonna be dropping a lot of guys, you know, from your abilities. It is great to have these. Now you see you can do the standard upgrade to a barracks and build the standard units that you would normally build, or you can build upgrade it to an airborne HQ. This one I have built into an airborne HQ. You can make a ranger captain here, which of course just which is a piece for specific to uh, uh, you know Blitzkrieg, and that will give everybody bonuses just like the headquarters squad does, or just like the lieutenants and captains do for the British. You can drop snipers, uh, but I already have two on the map, but you can only have two. So even though this building builds them too, I already have the pop cap. You can kick out an armored jeep, a 57 millimeter anti-tank gun. You can also get the 76, the big tank gun. Now it will not be the airborne version. It'll actually be just like this and build out of the base. And you see here I brought up the ammunition truck. Now I can buy ammunition you know, for the different ammunition for that tank gun that we showed earlier that had it grayed out. So also with this, you can drop uh, Paradrop 101st Airborne Engineers. You can drop uh, medics that will attach. You can uh, attach to your troops. Let's drop them. And you can see there's a little drop circle as if it were, and here I'll do the engineers, you know, as if you're dropping in troops. So I'm not quite sure why the tank gun actually and the and the jeep build instead of being dropped, but uh, you know those two things don't. The other thing you could do from this specific building is you can do this inspired assault, assault, which your guys will uh, will will fight better. You know, sort of like there's a, a power for the Germans that does the same thing. Um, you know, they get they get shot up and everything, but so they do more damage and. Uh, uh, you know they, they can they can take out a unit pretty quickly there's also something here which they will not let me use right now and it's called uh, air patrol and I don't know if it's because I just kept using it against the computer before and that's why they won't let me use it anymore but it, it's a uh, uh, let's see if I have another forward base that's not that's an airborne base well here actually what I'll do something else that these guys can do. I know I dropped the headquarters squad here somewhere. Uh, where did I drop them? Over here. Okay. So this headquarters squad, one of the cool things they can do, you know, see how they have different pages of stuff. They have like white phosphorus and they have uh, demolitions. So these guys are really great. Satchel charges. They can call them the, the artillery or the mortar strike and they do have the fire up you know sprint away from suppression but they can also build this mobile headquarters which is cool so you get another barracks and it's going to produce the same units that that other airborne headquarters does so you're not going to get all the normal troops that you would get but you do get all you know a lot of the airborne specific stuff so here it is so you see the things you can do the sniper still grayed out. You can actually airdrop smoke, which is really cool. Um, if you notice this one, it's not letting me build the 76 millimeter gun, but it is giving me the air recon. So when you hit this, what will happen is the same thing as when you drop this, uh, you know, P-47 fighter bomber patrol. Except they're not bombers. They're going to go around and they're going to just strafe any infantry that's in the area. So it's a great defensive ability. All right, and lastly, I did drop some engineers here. These are the airborne engineers. You see, they come with demolitions. They come with satchel charges. They can only build defensive structure and uh, you know healing triage center. Um, and, but they can also build the normal you know uh, defensive and attack items. 
But the cool thing is, because they are airborne and they dropped in, if these guys get injured, they can reinforce from anywhere on the map. So, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. And here, one of these guys actually got shot. So here are the uh, medics. And as you can see, they have the little maintain command range thing. You can click on another unit and they'll attach to them just like the lieutenants and captains do in uh, for the British, you know, in the standard game. So when these guys move around, these other guys will follow. All right, and that's about it. Um, you know, other, you know, sp Blitzkrieg specific things like you can use armor piercing rounds and suppression and things of that nature from, uh, you know, your machine gun nests. And, you know, again, there's a lot of really cool things about Blitzkrieg itself. But, uh, as far as airborne's airborne uh, doctrine goes, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna end it up here. If you have any questions or if you have any comments about it, you know, uh, feel free to uh, you know to leave a comment below. Uh, also, if there's anything you'd like to see me do differently, or if you think I'm going on too much about it or not enough, you know, let me know because uh, I do plan on doing you know a video for each doctrine. And again, I do have one up already for the uh, for the infantry doctrine from the US so alright thanks for watching I'm just gonna go ahead and take this building down and I just basically here have a bunch of standard oh wow I have a bunch of uh, standard Sherman's with explosive rounds on because they take down buildings alright that's it thanks for watching again have any uh, comments leave them below anything you'd like to see you know please let me know Thanks. Thanks for watching.